Alright guys, we're gonna try and do the impossible right now. So basically we got business class seats, right? But our, our transit is only one hour. 55 minutes. Hello sir. So we want to go to the Terminal 1 using the SkyTrain. Where is the SkyTrain? Ah? Uh, you don't need to use the SkyTrain to go to Terminal 1. You are already at Terminal 1. Oh, so blah, blah, blah. Terminal 3. Terminal 3. Just go all the way straight. Uh, on the left side, there's a SkyTrain. Just take that one to Terminal 3. Okay. Once you reach Terminal 3, fourth escalator you go up. Uh, Silver Chris Lounge. Silver Chris Lounge. Yes. Got it. What time is your flight? In one hour. Uh, then don't go to the lounge, go to your gate. Where is your gate? C1. C1 is just here. Yellow, if you yellow. go there, come back, you don't have time. Sure. Yeah, just go C1. <laughs> and wait there. We thought we could make it. No time, uh. yes. Impossible. Uh. If it's one hour, don't. Okay, okay, okay. We are very tempted to try. Why don't I stay here? <laughs> you sure? Okay guys, so here's the situation. It's 9.37pm right now. Our next flight is at 10.45. The gate closes 10 minutes before. We got literally, what, 50, 45 minutes? And we, we want to visit the business class lounge because we're sitting business class, right? But our layover is only like one hour. So it's a huge risk because we don't want to miss our flight, obviously, to Auckland in New Zealand. Yeah. I think, you know what, let's just do it. We come, 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 come. Let's just try, okay? We want to visit the business class lounge of Singapore Airlines, so we got to do it. There, 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 that's the sky train. Come on, come on, that's the sky train. Hey guys, we're very kanchong now because we just passed by our actual gate. People are already boarding and actually going into the gate. The gate is open. But well, we're going away. But well, we're going away from the gate. Uh, are you confident, Lee? No. Okay, but remember what the guard, what, remember what Uncle said just now? Once you get down, fourth escalator. I saw the gentleman just now when we were talking to here but he says he just looked at us very calmly and said don't do it. Yeah. We really wanted to do it but he just looked at us and said don't do it. One hour he said don't do it, you will miss your flight. But looking at the time, I feel like we got time to even visit the lounge for 10 minutes, come back here safe in time, go to the uncle and say we did it, then we go back to our gate. Okay, let's not do it. <laughs> okay. okay, five minutes, right? I don't even think we need to run, we just did a breeze walk. Okay, this is the first escalator. He said four escalators. So, opposite Rolex. That's what the guy said. Huh? B, we got no time for free movie. What are you talking about free movie, B? <laughs> Did she just say free movie? <laughs> this girl, we're we on a mission, B. We gotta focus. Wait, no! Don't! B! Quick! We got no time! Hey okay, guys, come on. Rolex, we gotta find Rolex. It's the escalator above Rolex. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is crazy, guys. I don't know why we're doing this. <sighs> but this is a honeymoon, right? So honeymoon is supposed to be fun, right? Is this one? No. Okay, this is the second escalator, B. We're halfway there, already. Sorry? We create our own lounge. <laughs> we have to go business. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is the third escalator. I think we are. We're almost there guys. That's my wife. Oh that's my wife. B. <laughs> Look at my wife. B. <laughs> ah we see Rolex Rolex. There it is. Okay we see Rolex. Okay. It's gotta be this right? Yes guys. This is it. We did it. Silver Cruise Lounge. The business class lounge. We're gonna experience it at least once in our life. Alright. Oh my gosh. Yes, we. <sighs> wow. 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 Luxury. I can't believe we did it, guys. We did it. Well done, love. Uh, so sad. I feel like we don't have time to enjoy these drinks. But yeah, this is what business class gets you, guys. Ah, that is the taste of victory. So I actually want to kind of take you guys around to see this lounge. So uh, let me get a breather first and then I'll take you guys around the business class lounge. Whoa, guys, check this out. Wow, you can actually, oh my God, look at that guys. You can shower in the business class lounge. This is amazing, there's like hair dryers, all the little, uh, I don't know what's that, uh, what, amenities as well. Dude, this is sick. What the, this business class lounge is crazy freaking big. 
What in the monkey backside? Pesto chicken sandwich. Just some thoughts, right? Our Malaysia punya so-called business class lounge is nothing, not even close. It's like nothing compared to this Singapore Airlines punya business class lounge. I don't know explain this to you, but the lounge here is so big. The food here is 10,000 times more amazing. I don't know. When we went to our KIA one, the food was only three choices, right? Here, there's like siu mai, there is pasta, there is roti prata, there is curry laksa, prawn noodle, there's all kinds of things here. And it's a full spread and the sandwiches as well. Drinks as well, the choices are crazy. Yeah, Singapore, I give you give you like give you like you win la, this one. In Singapore, you win, you win. Wow. <laughs> this is as far as we can go guys from first class. <laughs> Only can zoom in. Bye. So <laughs> Hopefully next time. Bye. You know, bye here, Lee. Okay, bye bye. Bye, bye, business class. All right, guys. So that was very, very brief. Was that worth it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so beautiful. We only Big. we only spent about fifteen minutes in there. Mm. So now we gotta make our frantic run back to the other terminal. Mission accomplished. Do you think we have time to go back to the uncle to say like we did it? Well, what can we say, guys? Yay! We did it! We made it! <laughs> so we got to experience what business class lounge is like in Singapore, which was amazing. And now we made it to our business class seats on our way to New Zealand. Wow, this girl business class. This girl business woman. Hello! Good evening. Good evening, sir. Welcome aboard. Straight on board. Thank you. that guys it looks very very good this is just the starter i thought this was the main thing already but actually it's just a starter um it sounds very fancy like i don't know how to explain it to you guys but it looks like this uh. yeah all right guys this is the main meal so i know what you guys are gonna say this is a uh, watan hall right <laughs> and I think I ordered Watan Ho for two reasons. I think number one is because it was recommended to me. They say it was very, very nice. Number two is because since we're going to New Zealand for about two weeks, we're going to be eating a lot of non Asian food. I thought I might as well just stock up on Asian food first before I start missing it a lot. So I ordered Watan Ho based on these two reasons. Okay, let's find out how good this Watan Ho is. Uh, obviously, this is Singapore Airlines, so I expect great things. But at the same time, I am Malaysian. So our Watan Ho is, is pretty damn good lah, okay? So, here we go. Guys, this is shocking. In a very good way. Because why? This is super duper good, man. And it's got... It's got walk hey <laughs> It's so good. SIA, you have uh, you have not disappointed. Your Watan Ho got walk hey. The Kong Tong Yan in me say Chow Ho Sek Ho Sek. Somebody put scallop eh. Look at that. Whoa. Last review. Alright guys, something sweet really, uh, something sweet just happened. Singapore Airlines gave us a little goodie back because uh, we told one of them that we were on a honeymoon trip. So, the very kind crew gave us a little parting gift. And it's got a card, a very personalized card as well. This is one of the sweetest things I've ever experienced in an airline in 30 years of living my life. Look at that! So cute! Thank you so much, Seseni Singapore Airlines, to all the crew as well. Thank you so much, we love you guys and uh, we really appreciate this gesture. Thank you so much, Faris. Yeah, thank you. Bye bye. Bye, bye. bye bye. Hey guys, so we are officially in New Zealand. Woo! We collected our rental car already and we're on our way to Matamata -Mata right now. So are we excited, B? I am. 
Lord, we pray for good weather. We thank you that although it just rained, the rain has cleared just as about when we start the journey. But we pray for journey mercy on the way to Mata Mata that we arrive on time and we arrive safely. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Alright, let's go. Let's go. We're here! <laughs> so we finally arrived at our little Airbnb and we'll take you for a little tour around. But before that, let's just circle around to show you guys the view because this place is so so beautiful. Yes, and Let me now show you it's guys like sunset ish. Yeah. So the sunset's there. You can see it's so beautiful, and there's like chickens here. There's like cats. There's dogs. There are like cows, right? Yes. There's alpacas. There, there were alpacas. Yes, so it's like farm Ooh. everywhere. But we didn't see a lot of mehmet though. Haven't yet. We saw hundreds of cows though. Yeah. Okay, okay, B, you take us around to our tour. Okay, so this is called the Everett Tiny House. Oh, look at my wife doing oh. the influencer things. <laughs> so welcome. Let's go on the light. Yeah, so there's a mini living room here for uh -huh. you to chill. And then there's a mini kitchen. So there's like oven and, and, and microwave and there's a fridge. There's even a... Heat, hot water. Hot water. The heater. Kettle. Kettle, yeah. And then there's like the toilet. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then after the toilet, it's it cozy. Bedroom, a small cozy bedroom. We haven't tried the bed yet. Oh my god, it's so comfortable. Is it? Yeah. So beautiful. I love this place. It's very cozy. Country Ooh. house. Yay! Okay, now let's go for dinner. Okay, let's go. Welcome to Hobbiton. Look at that. Ta-da! I cannot believe that we're finally in New Zealand. We're in Auckland, we're in Matamata. Mata. This is so surreal to and me. It's not as cold as we thought. <laughs> yeah, we we pack a lot of cold clothing actually, but it's actually not as cold as we thought. It's 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 like Cameron Highlands actually right now. Mm -hmm. And it's almost night time already, but it's like literally like Cameron Highlands. Yeah. Alright guys, after deciding for quite a while, we have decided to come to this <laughs> universal place. Safe first. McDonald. Yeah, how come they got Angus you don't have one? <laughs> McDonald's Malaysia, you heard the woman. How is it possible their fries taste exactly the same? Is it? Exactly the same, babe. Mm. Mm. Is it good? Yep. Yeah. good. See that. Not bacon. <laughs> Hey guys, so we're back at our Airbnb. That's a wrap for day one. Uh, it's been a very long and tiring day and uh, we just cannot wait to just shower, get some rest and get some sleep. But it's been so fun. Thank God for really good weather and safety. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.